Less than one week after that tense five and a half hour TikTok hearing, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has announced that the House will move forward on legislation to address national security concerns on the very popular social media platform. Here now, Teddy Schleifer, founding partner and reporter at Puck News. He writes about Silicon Valley, the billionaires that control it, and the impact they have on our lives. Teddy, how surprised are you? Are you surprised how quickly this thing is moving? We see a lot of CEOs get dragged to the Hill for hearings, and then what happens? Nothing. Well, this is just the first scene of this movie, right? I mean, it's very easy for Kevin McCarthy to say, we are going to be moving forward very, very seriously on, on, on this. But look, there's constitutional issues with regards to, you know, there are going to be the ACLUs of the world who are crying that abridging my right to, you know, my right to TikTok. Um, there are geopolitical issues, obviously. China is going to, you know, is already saying that McCarthy is, you know, acting uh, as, as, a, as a, you know, an apostate and is somehow abridging their rights to be say nothing of financial issues, right? Even if, you know, Kevin McCarthy wants this to get sold to somebody, like, can you imagine what Kevin McCarthy is going to say when Facebook or Google says, oh, sure, we'll take that. There's going to be antitrust issues. Like, I think it's very easy for McCarthy right now to say we're going to be moving forward. But you've been around Washington long enough to know that there are like six months to a year of kind of hijinks that are going to happen, lawsuits, the whole gamut. You do have lawmakers on both sides of the aisle pushing to do something, but I want to share what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has said, because she doesn't support what McCarthy's doing. Watch this. To me, the solution here is not to ban an individual company, but to actually protect Americans from this kind of egregious data harvesting that companies can do without your significant ability to say no. Is that position going to become more popular as any type of legislation moves forward? Look, that's 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 easy, but that's also what you know no, what we've been talking about about big tech in general for a long time. Oh, just like talking about right, exactly, doing nothing exactly. but talking about. No, you know, their AOC is not, but no one is out there saying that you know the U.S. government needs to you know to, uh, that Facebook should be banned. Right? It's been all about data harvesting, all about data privacy. Nevertheless, you know, basically, absolutely nothing has happened over you know the ten years or five years. That we've been talking about this. So, like, that position seems like, you know, the reasonable middle ground that everyone can come around to supporting. But nevertheless, I don't know, I, I still find myself skeptical even of that. Me too. However, look what's happening abroad, right? Countries yeah. like France are now saying all social media apps are banned from government devices. So if I'm running Facebook, if I'm running Twitter, am I looking at what's happening in, in places like France? Am I getting worried? Well, look, I mean, the U.S. government has said that, you know, these need to be banned on government devices as well. Um, what was interesting about the, about the French um, pronouncement was that they were talking about banning things like Twitter also, right? Like, or Facebook. They, they're equating all social media companies with, uh, the pro with TikTok. You know, they're saying that all of these companies have data privacy issues. Um, and, and that's where I think, like, the conversation could be headed if you know, we start really talking about data privacy is, you know, is Facebook that different than TikTok when it comes to data harvesting or data privacy in general? That's actually what Shochu was saying in his testimony. Like he oftentimes was trying to, you know, uh, redirect the spotlight when people were questioning him about is TikTok uh, protecting user data? He was saying, look at Facebook. Look at Google. And that's yeah. the issue. We don't even re we don't even understand the data harvesting. We laugh about it like, oh, something I saw when I was driving sure. by. Then I got an ad for it later. Maybe sure. I don't mind it. Not realizing the implications of it. Before you go, I do want to ask you about yeah. Twitter. Uh, Elon Musk very recently said the company um, is now valued at 20 billion dollars. That is half. That is a huge drop from the 44 billion it was bought for. Now, should this be a concern for us? Here's the thing. We're all still using Twitter, or most of us are. Even if the interface is worse, why is it worth so much less? Look, uh, I think people forget that Elon Musk did not buy this company with entirely his money. There are outside shareholders that are looking at, you know, what appears to be a 50 percent loss on their equity. And that's what I think is going to be one of the sole kind of maybe uh, uh, counter Elon forces in over the next six months to a year to, you know, however long it takes for Elon to Shareholders spin this back going, out. Hey, yeah. brother. There, there, are, there are friends, sure, but there are limited partners in these venture capital firms that have equity stakes in Twitter. 
that you know just put in billions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars and they're sitting at a 50% loss like this does have to be flipped financially eventually but Twitter's not dead, right? Remember yeah. in the early days of Elon Musk, all those people saying, I'm leaving, I'm going. Did they leave? Like, we're, we're, we're still there. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's pretty clear that, um, look, there, there are obviously going to be some people who leave. The advertiser issue is not a manufactured issue. Um, the, the financial issues are real. The user base, though, is, like, pretty... Uh, suck in place for, for better and for ill. The user uh, base is there, but guess what? It's the advertisers. Those are the ones that count.